God, this is probably going to come out so damn late. If you're watching this, you already know what this is about and what the actual news is, so let's just keep it cool, remain calm, we're going to have a few seconds dedicated to getting all of our collective fangirling and screaming out of the way, just for us, starting... now. Oh my god, oh my god, holy shit. Dude, there's no fucking way, I'm losing my fucking mind right now. What the fuck? RTD is coming back. Holy shit, there's no way. There's no fucking way. Okay, 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 alright, okay, oh my god, alright, okay, alright, oh my god, okay. So, yeah, RTD coming back. It's so funny, I don't think literally anyone saw this coming whatsoever, although it oddly kind of makes sense. I know the Chibnall era has its fans and it's also not even over yet. We haven't even seen what Series 13 and the 2022 special is going to have up their sleeves, but considering the reputation the current era's garnered for itself, because let's be real, it has gained itself a less than ideal reputation whether you like that or not. Plus, with how Doctor Who lately seems to be banking on so much RTD nostalgia with the direction the structure of Series 12 tried to take and failed. The whole Time Lord Victorious thing with the Tenth Doctor getting a whole new line of expanded media, the Tenth Doctor being all over a lot of the merch and the products being released, it's hard to deny that the BBC themselves definitely have at the very least a slightest hard-on for the RTD era being fresh in our minds and fueling how we view the show. So when you think of it like that, while well, yes I doubt anyone saw this coming because I mean why would they? If you take all that stuff I just mentioned to the logical extreme it does make some kind of sense, like it's hard to grasp this is real of course, I'm still kind of paranoid that the entire Who community came together to to just prank me and make me look like an idiot because holy fuck there is no way that this is real no 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 george george come on calm it down calm it down a little bit but no it is real and does make some sort of sense so let's talk thoughts what do i think about it and why should you care what i think well there's no specific reason why you should you either do or you don't but you're cool if you do there you go there's your reason but as for thoughts i've got a few things on my mind the first one i'm going to get out is probably the topic i want to discuss the least i know a lot of people are sick of hearing about it right now and it's the nmds look i don't want to talk or hear about them, I know you sure as shit don't. Honestly, when the new era is upon us, I just want to have fun with it, I just want Doctor Who and talking about it to be the fun and joyful experience we all know it can be without worrying about a bunch of out-of-touch boomers spoiling it for everyone. So I got my good buddy Sarek aka Emperor Zarekar to say a few quick words to the NMDs of the audience for me. <clears throat> hey, listen here, you little shits. You've had your fun, screaming and shouting and advertising your hateful erections for wokeness every five minutes, groveling at the feet of incels and anti-SJWs as if being on a crusade against females is the only way you degenerates know how to get views. Now, whether you enjoy the Whittaker era or not, its millions of fans have already had to put up with your bitching and moaning and screaming in their faces about why they should hate it every time you see a non-white character on the television. And now, after years, the entire community finally has something to celebrate together, like when big happy family. So just this once, don't ruin it. Just shut the fuck up and let us have this one. <clears throat> By which of um, course I mean, you know, I want to have fun with this new era. I don't want all that stupid NMD related discourse to be infecting every aspect of the discussion, so honestly when you see it going forth, just don't engage. The only reason these guys are even still around anymore is because of a need to poke holes in every little thing to spark outrage out of a desperation to keep the views coming. So the more you ignore, the more they'll realise they're just screaming into the void, pissing in the wind, and the more likely they are to realise how fucking deranged half of them look, and how badly they need to reevaluate their worldview. They're gonna keep talking their shit and being toxic, they're never gonna be happy and there's nothing we can do about that. No point in trying to fight back, it's like fighting a brick wall. If you just ignore it, it might go away. Anyway, as for actual thoughts on the actual news itself, needless to say, I'm I, I'm happy, I'm ecstatic, I'm fucking pumped, and I have a couple of things relating to it that I want to discuss. Firstly, most people I've seen are beyond excited, but I've seen the odd person here and there say that it's not what the show needs right now, and rather than moving things forward, it's moving them backwards, and the best thing for the show is fresh faces behind it rather than old ones. And well, I can 100% see where people are coming from when they say that. One of the biggest things people cite about Who during the discourse is that it's all about change, and all about moving forward. And again, not wrong. In fact, that's actually one of the things that makes Who so great. But the thing is, bringing old shit back and moving forward and changing aren't mutually exclusive. You can do both. Like, sure, we're bringing back an old writer here, but that doesn't necessarily mean we should now be expecting just a repeat of the RTD era. If the news announcing this also confirmed we'd be having a 14th Doctor that was basically just 9 or 10 again, they were bringing back the old logos and title sequences, same old co-writers, Murray Gold as composer, even getting a load of old cast members back, like, 
I don't know, the first episode of Series 14 is a new Doctor knocking on Martha Jones' door to ask her out new adventures or some shit, then sure, I'd probably agree. But you've got to remember, we'll also likely be seeing a new team of co-writers, possibly some staying on for the Chimnall era, and the landscape of the BBC, TV as a whole, and the world of general have changed, leading to much different sources of influence. Plus, this time, RTD won't be going in with a completely blank slate. Doctor Who won't suddenly be all his and solely his this time. It won't be up to him to decide that there was an entire period of new lore between now and the last time the show was on the air. Well, I mean, he could do that. He could. Uh, I'm trying to be likely here, but man, that has a serious risk of not aging well. Basically, he's not starting completely afresh this time. He's instead got a bunch of lore and established events from the last few seasons to build off of, like the Timeless Child arc, the Doctor literally saving Gallifrey from the last day of the Time War, finding it again, only to have it completely destroyed again by her arch nemesis, nearly coming to the final end of his life, only to be granted a new regeneration cycle at the last second, an assassination attempt on him gone wrong, causing the entire universe to implode, Basically, there's a lot of baggage going in for him to pull from and that he'll have to acknowledge if he wants to maintain a sense of continuity. But also, most of all, with the amount of award-winning projects he's taken on as of late, years and years, it's a sin, he's proven himself to be a very good and very competent writer and showrunner. And I'm not in the mindset of the show needing an old writer back or needing a new production team, I just believe that for where the show is at right now, what it needs is to be good and RTD has proven himself to be a responsible, capable showrunner with the talent and expertise to make it good. Plus, lots of people have said this, I reckon that he wouldn't have taken up this role if he didn't have himself a whole new host of ideas to play with and put to paper, so that to me is why I believe we're in for a great new era of Doctor Who that no isn't just going to be a repeat of the old RTD era. The landscape of the show and everything surrounding it has completely changed since then, meaning there's so much more to pull from, and the fact that it's more than likely that he's got a whole brand new set of ideas and concepts he's waiting to show us, and above all, the man's just a really good writer and has the talent to deliver on his stories because that's what the show needs right now, to have the right people behind it to make something good. And this man, you can't deny, writes good shit. The fact is, bringing old shit back is just as big a part of the show as moving forward. Think how much of the show revolves around the excitement of bringing back old monsters and villains, or returning characters, or continuing old arcs over multiple years or even decades, or providing extensive backstory to already established events. The main takeaway being that the old is just as integral to who as the new in my opinion. I mean, if time is just a big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff, you're bound to end up landing on the old points as well as the new ones here and there. And the old can also be just as effective and serve just as well as the new if of course one, we're not literally only doing old stuff and an old writer is easily capable of doing new shit, and two, you know, when it's done well, which I absolutely have faith in RTD to do. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, that this was clearly just a big course correction. The BBC are aware that the general opinion of the show is pretty low right now and its popularity has taken a slight hit and they're just falling back on the safest bets, guarantee some interest, and well... yeah? I can defo see why, in fact it really does seem like that. All I can simply say on this is that I'm honestly not mad either way because it's led to them getting the guy who wrote years and years and it's a sin to be helming the show. As long as they get someone competent, I really don't see why the motive behind it matters all that much. But I've also seen some people pointing out how the NMDs, last time mentioning them I swear, will use this to claim that they were right and this move feels like the show admitting defeat or the fandom will be admitting defeat if they enjoy this era more. And well, for one, there's no victory or defeat with this shit. Your taste are your taste. You either like what's being done or you don't and you shouldn't let other people people's opinions dictate that. And secondly, like I said, the NMDs are the NMDs, they're never going to be happy regardless. As said, it's an uphill battle, they've made their bed and they're gonna lie in it, so there's no point even trying. Just enjoy whatever you enjoy and form your own opinions on the decision isolated from whatever their input would be. I'm just glad we've got someone competent in the role that could bring a bright future to the show for now. Now, I'm aware that I could absolutely get proven wrong. There's every chance he could come in and literally just do his old era again, but with a new cast, written slightly different and with flashier visuals, and while I'm very certain that the man has higher standards than that, and like I said, I don't think he'd come back unless he had new ideas, that could also still be true. It could happen. So from now until we actually get a glimpse of series 14, I'm just going to be sitting here hoping, praying, fucking begging that I get proven right. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you know what? I hope you enjoy series 13 and the specials when they come out. Each era of Who is only the current era once. Unless you're RTD, of course. So you know what? Soak it up. Really drink it in. Enjoy the ride we're currently on while we're on it and see what new highs and lows you can get out of it while it lasts. Because while this is big news and oh sure, I'm right with all of you 
she's celebrating the fuck out of it right now. We've still got a doctor and a showrunner to wave goodbye to first. So let's experience this journey with them like with so many years before one last time. See if they can surprise us with any further before we say goodbye and move on to the next big thing. Thanks for watching my dudes. Big non-who video coming whenever I can get off my ass and do it. See ya. I love you, bitch. Oh my God. I ain't gonna never stop loving you, <gasps> bitch.